Hi there. Today, we're going to do the range tests. Well, I already did the range tests, but today I'm going to present the video of the range tests. I'm doing it with a 36 volt, 350 watt, Bafang 8 fun mid drive electric bicycle conversion kit, and I'm running it on three restored sealed lead acid batteries out of the trash can. It's three batteries, 12 volts each battery, seven amp hours each battery, run in series to give me 36 volts, seven amp hours. But it's important to remember that these are restored batteries, so they've already been completely dead once. And also when I refilled them with water, I filled them too much. So a lot of that electrolyte has since boiled out and spilled out and the capacity is way less than seven amp hours. You're also going to see me use a set of brand new 9 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries and I'm going to tell you the performance of those. And you're also going to get to see me start work on the lithium battery packs. What I did was I went to Best Buy and I said, hey, let me look in your recycle bin. And they said, sure. I, at three Best Buy locations let me do that and I scored a lot of laptop battery packs and each one of those is full of 18650 size lithium ion cells and many of those cells are still good. It only takes one bad cell to render a, a battery pack trash. So you rip it open, you test the cells and that's going to be an interesting thing that I'm going to be doing in the coming weeks. Maybe months. I don't know. I thought it would take me months to get enough battery packs but I have more than enough now. So let's get on with the video. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'm on the bike and I'm riding home. I've gone a uh, half a mile. I still have a full battery. There's the motor down there. It wants to go. Six point three miles. Battery just died. Whew. The battery just quit on me, but that's because I was going up a vicious hill. The ride home is all vicious hills. Um, pulling all that current from lead acid, it's gonna do a false quit a couple of times. I took the long way home, nine and a half miles. Don't let that battery gauge fool you. Uh, I don't have full batteries. They will run for like three seconds and then quit. Then uh, that's the nature of lead acid batteries. It, they can't provide very much continuous draw compared to lithium. But it got me home uh, on with one pedal. I'm lying on the stairs. Uh, new carpet. Uh, the battery quit. <clears throat> a 
couple times, so I stopped and then let it rest and let the battery stabilize, and then I just gunned it all the way home, and it did great. But still, man, the ride home is all uphill, so it's still a lot of work. If I want to make that battery last the entire way, I gotta work a little harder on the straights. It's a balancing act with the lead acid. I mean, if I had lithium and unlimited funds, I could put three times the capacity at a third the weight and just be able to gun it all the way home. It's great. It's totally doable. I made it home in less than an hour, which is awesome on a bicycle because I've ridden that ride on just a regular bicycle and it would take an hour at least and on the way home I'd have to walk the bike for a lot of it. This is good. I didn't, I didn't even, my shirt only, just see? That's it. That's all the sweat. This is nothing. You know, I did most of the ride with my hands at my sides, smoking a cigarette. Uh, I'm happy with it, and I'll put more video of me doing various tests and uh, show you all the, the ways to optimize it for your riding style so that you can get the most distance out of the battery. Uh, mostly, I'm going to be using it to uh, make the hills disappear, because that is what it does. It, it just makes the hills disappear. I mean, you have to pedal, you have to work, you have to, you know, the more effort you put into it, the less the motor has to do. So uh, for those rides that are, that you remember that are easy up until that one point where you get fatigued and have to get off the bike, that's when you would kick in the motor, conquer the hill, and then just keep going. Uh, coasting on the downhills is important, and that's a chance for the battery to stabilize so that you have the amperage there when you need it. So I've been out all day. I burned through two battery packs and they were seven amp hours each. 36 volt, seven amp hour battery packs. I'm, I'm working that pedal assist and that's the key. Put the effort in when you can. Let the motor do the work when you don't want to. It's great and it's a decent amount of exercise too. Uh, my butt's sore, my legs feel it. Uh, I, got, I even got some core work. I saw something on the internet and I had to go for it because it was a great deal. Three brand new absorbed glass mat sealed lead acid batteries. The same size as the 7 amp hour trash can batteries, but they're 9 amp hour and they weigh less. This is a, a pretty cool and the prices are going down, down, down. These have been charging overnight. They're brand new. I'm going to break them in today. Um, I want to show you, this is how I package them, in a cardboard box wrapped in duct tape with a strap made out of duct tape. You can see I have a full battery and I'm going to not be running this at full power. I've, had it, I've got it set to seven levels of power um, and I'm going to run it at about level five because I'm not trying to pull too much from these brand new batteries all at once. I want to let them break in nice and easy, uh, but we'll see how it does. <clears throat> Already it's got, wow, it just feels stronger. Uh, I'm going to try to use the throttle the entire time. Uh, I can do this if I'm using the, the gears to get up the hills. Um, I'm going to try not to pedal at all and see what kind of drain that puts on the battery. Uh, those restored batteries that I have don't do too well unless I'm, I'm pedaling with them, but I don't have to work hard. It's about 90 degrees out here and I'm, I'd be fine using those batteries, just pedaling a little bit, putting a little bit of effort into it. But with these batteries, I think they're going to do a lot better and I'll let you know. I'm going up kind of a steep hill. I'm not putting any muscle power into it. Uh, the only pedaling I'm doing is to keep the motor spinning because there's a sensor that kicks on the motor when the pedals move. But this is all battery power. I'm pedaling really slow, like my, my muscles aren't engaging the gears at all. I've gone about a mile. I haven't put any of my own effort into it at all and you can see not even a dent in the battery. I average about 10 miles per hour 
when I'm using just motor power on a, a hill climbing gear, which is not bad. I've gone now about a mile and a half, a lot of uphills. I'm not even a little bit sweaty. It's like 90 degrees out here. This is fun. I love this thing. I'm at the two mile mark. Still not using any of my muscle power. Still totally under motor control. Barely a dent in the battery. But if I were to stop right now or lower the power, the battery would go back to full bars. And that's just the nature of lead acid batteries. Go up to full power. Still just letting the motor do the work. Here we got a hill. I'm actually in the hardest gear right now, so if I were to try to do this without a motor, I'd be working hard. But here I am, not even applying any of my own strength, letting the motor do the work, and it's, it's doing it. Maintaining 12 miles per hour. I'm doing this, I'm going fast enough to ride with no hands right now. Just under motor strength. So I got to a shopping center about three and a half miles away. And as you can see just now, the battery still chugging along, full bars. About four and a half miles. Still, the batteries, it's still at full capacity. I'd nearly be at work by now. And that's great because with the used battery packs, um, I'm going up a hill right now and I'm, I'm just leisurely spinning the pedals, letting the motor do the work. Uh, with the old battery pack, I, I would have had to do a lot of serious pedaling, um, but this is easy. So I can confidently say that it's a good idea to get brand new lead acid batteries. They cost like 15 bucks a piece now for nine amp hours. And the weight difference is noticeable too because these, these are mounted on a, on a top rack in the back. So the bike's a little top heavy. And before if I wanted to stand up and really crank the pedals, um, that bike leaning side to side action that you get from really cranking the pedals would make it difficult to keep my balance but this this is this is so much better oh man once I get the lithium battery pack it's gonna be like a whole nother animal cannot wait cannot wait so we are at five miles now and you can see I'm running at full power full pedal assist and the batteries it's still fluctuating between full charge and one bar down. Not bad. Okay, I just hit a monster hill in a hard gear at full power, and you can see it knocked it down to half battery. But if I back down the power a little bit, and I already knocked it into a hill climbing gear, you're going to see that I'm still not doing any work and that battery, it snaps right back. Five and a half miles. Whee! Speed bump. So I'm at nearly six miles and still showing a full battery. The hills aren't affecting this thing at all. Had I been going to work in the old battery about a mile ago, I would have had my first low voltage cutout. And I would have been running it at, let's say, three power with pedal assist in a hill climbing gear to get up the hills. But with this, I mean, I'm, I actually, a mile into this ride, decided to really give the batteries a run for their money. I was running it at full power in hard gears up hills. 
just to, you know, see what I could do. And I'm telling you, lead acid, whoever says lead acid is not suitable for electric bicycles is sorely mistaken. And I'm sure a lot of this is the mid-drive kit, as opposed to a hub motor, which is relying just on the torque of the, the motor to turn the wheels and not the bicycle transmission. So I went a total of 6.2 miles. The battery's still good to go. There's my trip odometer, 6.2 miles. And you can see the total distance I've gone on this thing is 108 miles. And it's holding up, I haven't had any problems, except for the pedal ripping off, but that was human error. I need to show you what I got yesterday. So these are all notebook computer battery packs that I acquired absolutely free just by walking into Best Buy stores and asking the managers if I could look through their recycling bins. These alone are all Dell battery packs, okay? Um, these up to here, these have got to be matching cells because the manufacturer dates are similar and they all go to the same model computer. These are HP matching packs. These are all the generic, you know, replacement packs that are no name brand, but a couple of them, actually a bunch of them, fit the HP. And I'm curious to see what kind of uh, cells they have in them. And then these are all the Toshiba packs, and a lot of these are matching also. Um, I've already cracked a couple of them open, and you can tell because my finger is being held together with tissue paper and super glue. It's really dangerous cracking these packs open because it's hard work and the knives can slip. And in my case, the pocket knife closed over the top of my finger and the bone stopped the blade. That was fun. That was last night at two in the morning. That's why it's a really bad idea to do this kind of stuff while you're sleepy or fatigued. Let me, sh let me show you what I've done so far though because I've already opened up a lot of these. These are Ryobi lithium uh, power drill battery packs. And usually it, it's just like one bad cell and then the rest are good. Uh, this is out of three of these, no, two of these. And I got all these cells. Uh, these, are the, these are the thin low capacity ones, but one of the packs was one of the, the um, double decker higher capacities. That's why I have all the cells. And I think one of them, oh right, two Makita um, lithium packs that had the exact same kind of cells. And uh, so most, most of the cells I'm finding are good. Uh, they're still charged. It's just like the pack one cell quit and you know the whole pack was bad these are out of toshiba notebook computers this was three battery packs i cracked open and these are all the the batteries that um still had good voltages so i'm optimistic about this uh, i've already got all this and i've already got what's sitting in the other room and i really can't wait to uh let my finger heal and start getting into this because I'm pretty sure I have more than enough cells to build a super long range battery pack for this electric bike. And I got them for free. That was a really long video. I know, 20 minutes. For those of you who stuck it out and kept watching, thank you. I love you. Uh, I'm pretty sure I gave you a, a pretty good look of how lead acid batteries will perform on an electric bike. If it's a mid-drive on a hub motor kit I don't know I hear that you really have to work hard up those hills unless you have a super high voltage system but with lead acid that's gonna be really heavy 36 volts is what I chose because I knew I was gonna start with lead acid and I also like to ride bicycles so I don't mind pedaling a little bit but I think it did really well and I'm also looking very much forward to getting started on those lithium packs so thanks for watching. Please leave some comments. There's a spider. Peace, love, and waffles.